Hello everyone, let's jump straight into the action why we came there. Installing mods on the long dark. And I forgot to mention that this is my this is actually my first ever video on YouTube recorded in English. And English is not my native language, so it's double thanks for watching. And for listening to my broken English. <laughs> first thing you gotta do to play the long dark with mods is to install Melon Loader is uh, it's a program that allows to put mods into the game. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, so we go on their website. I'll put the link in the description. We'll go get started and download this. So we download it and then we open it. And here we need to choose our game. So we choose the version of Melon Loader. If you choose the latest version, everything should work. No problem here. And so here we should tap select and then go into our game files. It's usually under the Steam folder. In Steam apps, common in the long dark, or uh, um, you choose the TLD file. It's, the, it's your application, it's your game, so you open it, and then you click install. Melon Loader installed successfully, now you can install mods. So, here we can see, in the, the long dark folder, we can see two new folders. Uh, one is called Melon Loader, the uh, other is called mods. In the folder that's called mods, you can put your mods, uh, that you can download online. You can literally just type in the Google the Long Dark Mods, go into any website, just be careful with that to not download something else. Uh, then, uh, when you downloaded the mod, um, you'll get you'll get the zip archive. So, to make all the mods work, uh, you need to install five like technical mods first they will allow other mods to work properly so you go into mods uh, then you download these five mods they're like the most basic thing you need uh, then you open uh, the zip archive and then you move this DLL file into your mods folder and this is how the mods are installed so these mods they don't really do much to the game that you can see so with them uh, I will download uh, I will install the developer console mod just to see how it works so now we have six mods installed and now you can hop into the game and play with your mods and when the game is loading you will see uh, this window it's all right that's normal that's how it works and this start screen will also appear when you start the game. That's completely normal. And we're in the game. And if we go to options, now we can see that there's one more thing added. That's called mod settings. That allows us to set set up any mods we have. So for example, I installed the mod crafting revision. So I can somehow set it, change it. Uh, this is also a mod that I installed, but I can change something. Um, these mods are basically used by other mods, not by uh, players. So let's hop into the game and I will show quickly how the developer console mod works. So basically that's it. Uh, we installed our mods and it depends on what which mod you install, what's gonna happen to the game. It's, uh, you need to know what you're doing which mod do you want to get and then you download it from the internet and you install it and you enjoy it so uh, this is how the developer console mod works you click f1 and now you can put commands in there in this console uh, this console is unavailable in the game in the uh, actual game without any modification this is not available you, you cannot use it and here you can put commands, some different commands like cut mode, for example. Now I can't die at all. Here, as you can see, I can uh, change time, for example, to 12 o'clock. 
Yep. Example, I can give myself something. You put add, and then, for example, a knife. Let's put a knife. Look, I have no knife in my inventory right now, so I put this command, and then I go to my inventory. There is a knife. And you can do whatever you want, you just need to know which command you want to use. Uh, this is all, uh, all the commands are listed in the internet on some website that describes this mod, you can find it. Uh, for me, the most uh, useful and funny command is fly, that allows you literally to fly and teleport whenever you want. You can even fly through textures, I don't know, fly here, teleport, like this. So basically that's it, that's how we install mods for the long dark. Here's now your only boundary is your imagination. I mean, uh, I mean your boundary is uh, what mods you can find on the internet. And the thing is just to install them and enjoy them. So thanks for watching. Um, I think I will record a couple of more videos. I will review some of the mods, some of the cool mods that I that I found that I have right now. I just need to f to know how they works to tell you about them. So thanks for watching. See you next time.